have been working to prove that a certain kind of chest X-ray called a spiral CT scan can find lung cancer at its earliest, most curable stages. Today, it was reported in the New York Times that part of her funding, $3.6 million, came from the Liggett Tobacco Company, not directly, but through a little-known charity called the Foundation for Lung Cancer, Early Treatment and Prevention. The fundamental problem here is that there was no disclosure. In fact, it looks very much like everything was deeply hidden. The cancer that's on the right side. Dr. Henschke and her research have received wide publicity, including on this broadcast. Well, she believes well, that we most started. current Here's and former smokers should get the scan. We think that CT screening should go hand in hand with smoking cessation advice. Millions of people have in fact gotten the scan. I only had to wait a few minutes. Including NBC's no. Mike Taibbi, who reported on his experience. But many experts say the scans have not been proven to save lives from lung cancer. We simply don't know that yet. We just know that an awful lot of people have had an awful lot of radiation and an awful lot of surgery, and we don't know if there's any benefit that they've incurred from that. Which Dr. Jerry Avorn says may explain why the tobacco industry supports the research. If you are a smoker, you might get the sense, well, hey, I'll just go in for my spiral CT scan, and if there's a problem, they'll just lop it out, and so I can go on smoking. In a statement today, the parent company of Wigget Tobacco said it had no control or influence over the research. Dr. Henschke received support from several other sources, including General Electric, the parent company of NBC, and the major manufacturer of the scanners. Dr. Henschke's medical school issued a statement today saying it has policies in place to ensure researchers maintain ethical standards. As for the scan, the government is funding a huge study to find out if they do save lives, and those results will be out in about two years. Right. All of it important to know. Robert Pazell, thanks, as always. We'll take a break. We'll be right back with some surprising family ties.